Welcome to a TV20 News Break. I'm Dan Monroe. High school teams battle it out in stiff competition, but not on the basketball court or the football field. This battle took place in the Cleveland Municipal Courts. So, rather than go with her and help your love of your life, you were at home with your previously abusive father, right? Yeah, he came over to talk about some good times. And alcohol was involved, correct? Yes, my father did drink a lot of alcohol. And when Ellie came home, it seemed to you that she didn't care what you had going on, right? She was exceptionally late to what I wanted to do for such a long time. And you were upset because of this, weren't you? I was upset, yes. What you just saw wasn't a real case, but a dramatization played out between two high school teams as they each tried to prove their case at this year's mock trial competition. Judge Lauren Seymour of the Cleveland Municipal Court said this event has multiple schools coming together to partake in the faux legal battles each year. Every year we have anywhere from 8 to 20 schools. I think at our highest point we had like 20, 20 teams. And uh, so um, I think early college and uh, school of the arts, they're like mainstays. They're here like every year and they always bring fantastic energy and great kids and they really bring their A game. And it's very interesting. So all the, the schools in Cleveland are invited to participate. And at some point we've had participation from almost every um, high school in Cleveland and also in East Cleveland. Uh, Shaw High School. Every team tries the same case and are presented with the facts and characters that make up the case. Judge Moore says the key to winning the mock trial competition is preparation. And you can tell the different the different way that they participate, that they're prepared, but you have to know your case. And especially for the witnesses when they're being asked questions, they have to know those details because they might get, get nailed on details. And so it's really important that you know the entirety of the case, not just because you're a lawyer, or but the witnesses is very important because it's an ensemble effort. And so they, they you know, can break or, or create each other. At the end of the day, awards went on to Best Prosecutor, Defense, and Witness, but only one team can win best overall. First place, who gets to take home this big trophy right here, early college. <laughs> and for more information on mock trial, visit the Cleveland Municipal Court's website at clevelandmunicipalcourt.org. What's summer without a trip to summer camp? Youth ages 9 to 13 throughout the city of Cleveland are offered the opportunity to attend a week at a residential camp, Camp Forbes. Children live on the grounds and stay in log cabins from Monday morning through Friday afternoon. All meals are provided. Parents must complete the application and registration process to be considered. You will need to bring your child's birth certificate, immunization record, and a copy of your utility bill from the last three months. You can register at your nearest neighborhood resource and recreation centers, but you must do so by June 2nd. Oh, and did I mention the cost of camp? That's right, it costs absolutely nothing. That's right, this camp is free, free, free. Did I mention it was free? For more information, reach out to your local rec center or call Camp Forbes at 216-664-2561. When it comes to dealing with problems like pests or mold around the home, the best measures are often preventative. The Healthy Homes Fair, hosted by the Cuyahoga County Board of Health, brought together key players in making your home safe for you and your loved ones. TV20 reporter Alex Picturna has more. This fair is open to the public. It's free to everybody. And it's really, if you have any condition inside your home that's unhealthy, that's what we kind of staged here today. It's kind of a one-stop one shop, if you will, you know, where people could get there. Uh, questions answered, you know, as far as living in their home and things that they might think that they have or to prevent things from happening that might be, you know, considered uh, or contribute to mold or moisture or other unhealthy conditions inside the home. Vendors such as the Cleveland Housing Network, Legal Aid Society, and even local pest control companies were present, providing valuable information on dealing with everything from tenant landlord problems to preventing pest infestations. Some of the vendors that we have, uh, we have Cleveland Housing Network, we have the City of Cleveland Health Department, we have the Cuyahoga County Board of Health. They're talking about their lead-based paint programs, radon, uh, mold, moisture issues. We do have Legal Aid Society up here. Um, if people are having an issue possibly with the landlord, um, or they can find out what their tenant rights are in the state of Ohio. We have fair housing here as well. 
Um, of course, we have the bed bug task force table behind us, um, but we have a lot of great, we have the fire department and the uh, EMT department here for uh, the city of Cleveland as well. A special point of focus for the event was dealing with bed bugs. Tom Barsa, environmental health specialist for Cuyahoga County, shared some of the common ways bed bugs wind up in the home, along with general information on looking for and dealing with an infestation. Bed bug is a blood sucking parasite, it's a little insect, and really uh, how people get it is uh, they're great hitchhikers. So you got to be careful when you're traveling, where you put your luggage down, you want to look at your hotel rooms, uh, make sure that you don't have signs of bed bugs before you start using the drawers, putting things down on the bed. You know, I always put stuff up on hard uh, surfaces um, because they're very difficult to get rid of. They only feed off of blood, so they're going to feed off of you and nothing else in the home. You might wake up with a rash. Yeah, anywhere where you don't have cover while you're sleeping, like your, your face, your neck, your arms, um, you might develop uh, what they call hives. Uh, you could put all you, anything that could go in a dryer on high heat, you know, so any of your clothes, your linens, even stuffed animals, anything that could go in a dryer on high heat for a full cycle. So you're looking at getting it temperatures above 125 degrees, uh, all aspects of the bed bug, including the eggs, the nymph stage and the adult stage will die uh, very shortly after reaching 125. For TV20, this is Alex Picturna. Thanks, Alex. For those who missed the fair, you can call the Cuyahoga County Board of Health at 216-201-2000 for more information. Are you at risk for stroke? Stroke is a leading cause of serious long-term disability in the United States. A simple screening can provide peace of mind. Throughout May, which was named Stroke Awareness Month by the National Stroke Association, University Hospitals is offering free stroke screenings for area residents. Screenings include stroke risk assessment, body mass index, blood pressure, blood glucose, and total cholesterol. To find a screening near you and to pre-register, visit uhhospitals.org slash stroke risk. Finally, the kids of Cleveland got to meet their favorite cape crime fighters on National Superhero Day through the Superhero Project. TV20's Alex Victorna has a story. Today is National Superhero Day. We've got kids everywhere. And the Superhero Project, we're a nonprofit and we empower youth who have disabilities, serious illnesses, who are impacted by trauma or other complex mental health or medical needs. We've interviewed over 1,200 kids so far from around the world, including many here in Northeast Ohio. And so to really celebrate them and honor all of those superhero kids and their families, we wanted to bring everybody together for National Superhero Day. Lisa Collins began the Superhero Project after volunteering at a camp for children afflicted by HIV AIDS. Working with animators and artists, the kids were interviewed and later given unique superhero posters based on themselves. I just hated to you know, let it go as a one-time thing, so I started by doing interviews just as a volunteer on my own time at, at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital here. And then we started getting requests from families outside the hospital, then outside the city, then outside the state, and ultimately now outside the country. And each time we just kept growing organically and exponentially. The day was made extra fun thanks to a variety of activities and support from vendors like the Cleveland Public Library. So we had the Kids Book Bank donated a bunch of books so we could give books out to kids. Upcycle Park Shop, which is a really cool nonprofit here in Cleveland. They have, uh, we had a bunch of crafts so kids could make masks, they could make magic wands, they could really just play and let their imaginations run wild. The Cleveland Public Library was here having people make comic book buttons where they pull out an image from a comic book and make a button for them to wear. Of course, we had superheroes to kids in Ohio. Wave, everybody. Uh, so they were here for photos and hugs, and I saw the incredible Hulk holding a little infant, which was very adorable, and the baby wasn't scared at all, which was very impressive. And we had balloons, and we had face painting. We've got face painting still happening. So we had all kinds of fun stuff. Kids were thrilled to meet their favorite superheroes, all while bringing exposure to a good cause. For TV20, this is Alex Picturna. For more information on the Superhero Project, you can visit superheroprojectkids.org. Well, TV20 is streaming live 24-7.
Visit TV20Cleveland.com to see our live feed and more. Stay connected with TV20 wherever you go by liking and following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. There's so many programs out there for you to enjoy and watch. Coming up next, learn about what's going on with the Cleveland Metropolitan Schools with this week's CMSD 360. Thanks for watching TV20 News. I'm Dan Monroe. Be sure to stay tuned for more on TV20. We are Cleveland. Hello, I'm Darielle Snipes with the CMSD News Bureau. Welcome to CMSD 360, a look at news happening around the district for the week of May 7th. We are on location this week at East Professional Center. The Cleveland Board of Education and Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb will hold a news conference on Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. to announce and introduce the next CMSD CEO. More information to come, including a link to a live stream of the event. This is National Teacher Appreciation Week. Teachers are the backbone of CMSD and shape the lives of our scholars each day. Throughout the week, we will celebrate our teachers for all they do. Now, if you're doing something for your teachers, please tag Cleveland Metro Schools on social media and use the hashtag ThankACMSDTeacher. We want to celebrate them as well. And to all our teachers, a standing round of applause and a huge thank you. Turning to sports, on Monday, the Eleanor Montgomery K-8 Outdoor Track Championship will take place at the Collinwood Athletic Complex beginning at 4 p.m. On Tuesday, the Senate Boys Tennis Preliminary Matches will be held, and then on Thursday, the Championship Matches will take place. All matches will be held at Jefferson Park from 1 to 6 on both days. On Tuesday, the Jesse Owens Outdoor Track Championship is scheduled to take place at the Collinwood Athletic Complex starting at 3.30 p.m. Then Senate softball playoffs begin on Thursday at Cleveland State University. On Tuesday, the Board of Education will meet for its monthly work session at Garfield Pre-K-8 through School located at 3800 West 140th Street. The meeting starts at 6.30 p.m. and will be live streamed on the district's Facebook and YouTube pages. On Thursday and Friday, the annual Humanware Social Emotional Learning Conference will take place at Tri-C Metro Campus. The conference will focus on SEL for all, if not now, when? There will be various workshops with Dr. Steven Sorka as the keynote speaker. Sorka is an adjunct professor at the Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine and president of his company, Health Education Consultants. Come out on Saturday and celebrate the amazing work of our scholars at the Rock Your World with Steam Festival. The event will be held from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. outside the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum and the Great Lakes Science Center. Students will perform on different stages, plus visual arts and STEAM projects will be showcased. This event is free and open to the public, so come on down to the lakefront and help us celebrate our students. CMSD families will receive free admission to both museums as well as lunch as long as quantities last. Shuttle service to and from the event will be available for families from both Max Hayes High School and East Professional Center. The Executive Grill will host its annual end of the year barbecue at their new restaurant at East Tech High School on Thursday, May 18th from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Students will prepare delicious entrees including barbecue chicken, ribs, pulled pork, and more. Tickets are $25. Seating is limited, so make a reservation today. Tickets must be purchased in advance by calling 216-838-2433 between the hours of 8.30 and 9.30 a.m. and 2.15 and 3.30 p.m. To-go options will be available online beginning on Monday, May 15th. Well, don't forget to register for the CMSD Summer Learning Experience. Current students entering kindergarten to 12th grade can participate in fun and adventurous activities as well as catch up on schoolwork or get ahead for the next school year. Parents can sign their children up at clevelandmetroschools.org slash summer learning. The summer learning experience will run from June 20th through July 21st for kindergartners through 8th grade and June 26th through July 21st for high schoolers. We'll stay connected with what's going on in the district by downloading the CMSD app or following CMSD on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks for watching CMSD 360. Have a great and productive week.